the previous video, we left here. Where we could move off character, but of course our camera isn't moving anywhere. And let's just get some FPS look ability. So for that we'll have to modify our input action. Let's add one and call this one our look inside it. Let's set it as a value and a vector 2 in the binding. We are going to select mouse delta. Add another binding, and this one is going to be for our gamepad for the right joystick. It's the right stick. After we have set this up, we are now ready for setting it in the hierarchy to add some objects to our player, and then we will do the script. So, after we've done this, just save the asset and close the window. Create an empty game object into the player. Call it our center spine boss. We will leave this when we have the original character, and the naming is good for that original character. But anyway, just call it center spine boss, and we will have to actually put this on the y axis of one that's in the center, the middle of the player. Next, we'll create another empty inside this one, and we will call this one our camera holder. Next, we will make this at point 6, just a bit up where our head should be. Next, we will just drag our main camera into the camera holder. Wait, um, let me just... Okay, now we can drag the camera into the camera holder. Let's get back to the camera and just make it all zero. Yeah, so that's in the middle of the main camera holder. Okay. Now let's do the scripting part. So I already have this player controller script on. We have got all of this code done in the previous video. Let's do some comment. Look. Let's just start by hmm. Uh, we will just uh, write a header. So let's say header. Open to brackets and say look. Underneath the header, we will do a serialized field. Serialized field. Oh, serialized field. Serialize field, type private, and this is going to be basically we're going to be rotate, yeah, transform. And then we will just call this a center spine boss. So, center spine boss, and that's it. And then we will define two more floats so private float, and this one is going to be called x rotation. Another float, so private float Y rotation. These are going to be the rotations applied to our center spine boss, which will then move the main camera because it's childed inside the hierarchy. Now let's create a function private void underneath the handle and put a move. Look. And this is going to basically handle the input of the look, It'll basically get the player to look about. So first we define a vector to look vector and look vector equals um, look vector equals basically uh, equals input dot player player what was it let's just see player yeah player dot look dot read the value of type vector two and that's it next we will need some more variables so float for the mouse uh, mouse x first equals our look vector dot x and our float for the mouse y mouse y equals our look vector dot y okay now let's do something more um we'll do a y rotation equals equals plus equals um our mouse eggs dot sorry mouse eggs basically invert it because y rotation is this way and you need the mouse eggs and the y is up and anyway get it y x rotation minus equals mouse y this would work anyway okay now we have to do the x rotation dot 
sorry, to clamp it. So equal math f dot clamp the extrusion itself from its float value. It says we need the float minimum, which is going to be minus 60. A maximum is going to be 60. Yeah. And that's it for the math of the clamp function. Next, we will have to do some comments so we can get the input. Um, uh, get the input. Get the look vector. Get the look vector and set it up. And set it up. Yeah. So that's it set up. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Another comment for s s s s uh, setting the values to the objects. Objects. Yeah. Transform dot rotation. So we will modify the transform rotation of this object so equal to a quaternion dot Euler. Basically, we just don't want to modify the w value the way it was anyway dot euler and we will give in zero for the x-axis because we don't need that the vibration is what we need and zero on the z as well that's it for the rotation of the transform so basically we're going to modify the transform directly anyway center spine post rotation so this rotation equals our quaternion dot euler and here we're gonna write x rotation first because we're gonna give it both comma y rotation as well comma zero and that's it okay so we're done with the coding part except for just call this function in the update because if you don't you will get no result all right so let's just do some testing but before please let's just oh forget it you need to enter the center spine position into the center spine okay now we can just click save by command s or control s and just save the project okay now if i look about up down anywhere left right moves our transform also so hopefully it moves with it like a proper fps look view um we can just add some objects to make it look better the first object a cube we can some duplicate some of these one, two, three, four. And yeah, about eight maybe. Let's do some more. Yeah, one over there, one over there. Just for testing because we are gonna be adding jumping and gravity. We'll need these cubes for the dot. Okay, so now because I did this during play, let's just look about move. You can see it colliding as well properly. There's no trouble in collisions we're using character controller directly so now let's just um move about to see how it works looks really great okay awesome so let's duplicate just command c or control c and select here and just paste okay so just keep these cubes inside a folder so because they look really bad anyway so we'll save the project again let's create an empty game object to clean up this thing call it um what do we call it sir no not testing just called environment okay environment and we just drag this into the environment folder and just reset this to zero by zero by zero okay um that's it in the next video we will um add some gravity i should say 